Hi, thank you so much for logging in. My name is Joyce Marendez. And um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I would like to ask you to go ahead and just click on the bottom on the on the button at the bottom and just go ahead and subscribe. And today I want to just talk about um, just the power of prayer. And then I'll also just spend a few minutes just praying for you because um, in this day and time, we do, um, I, I do realize in this day and time that we are so busy and a lot of people just sometimes feel like they don't have time to pray. But um, so I just want to talk a little bit about prayer. What is what is prayer, the power of prayer, and then I'll just say a quick prayer, and then um, and then and then and then we'll be able to just have a few scriptures also um, regarding prayer. So, Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you, Father, for we are alive and well. Thank you, Father, even for giving us an opportunity to be able to just come and talk about the power of prayer. We give you glory. We give you praise. Holy Spirit, I pray that everybody who is watching this video, that you will be able to give them the ability to be able to watch it until the end there will be no distractions and they will be able to get the message that you want to pass across to them so they can have an effective prayer life i pray all this in jesus name and so thank you so much for logging in again and as, as i said earlier today i just wanted to talk about prayer because um i realized that we are um as the body of Christ, we do have, there are so many things going on right now. We do have a lot of gifts, a lot of talent, and a lot of um, different functions that people are doing. But one thing that is really struggling in the Christian faith is our ability to pray and our ability to pray consistently. We do see um, in other religions, when we look at the Muslims, they're very committed when it comes to to saying their prayers. It doesn't matter whether they're at the airport, it doesn't matter whether they're in college, um, whether they're in school, they said that they, they will stop everything they're doing so they can be able to pray and fulfill the rituals that have been set before them regarding their religion. When we look even at the Buddhists and we look at the different um, different religions those religions we find that a lot of those religions they're very committed to what they are doing but for us christians we um i guess because we are functioning under grace a lot of times we minimize the power of prayer so prayer is the only mode of communication that we can communicate with god and be able to move from one realm to the other realm. So what I mean by that is as human beings, we are living in the earth realm and we are we live in a body, but we do have a spirit. And when and 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 God is a spirit and he lives in a different realm. For us to be able to communicate with God, the only way we can communicate with God is through the spirit, and we can do that through prayer. We cannot uh, communicate with God through any other means other than prayer. Um, and so prayer will allow you to, to move from one realm to another and to be able to communicate from one realm to another. So the, the prayer is so powerful in a believer's life. And it doesn't matter how long you've, you've, you've been saved. It doesn't matter how long you've known the Lord. As long as you understand that once you accept Christ into your heart, you are able to communicate with God through prayer. You are able to change the atmosphere. You're able to communicate from one realm, from this earth realm to the heavenly realm. And you're able to bring change. You're able to 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 um to destroy the works of the enemy just by, by praying through prayer. But what the enemy has done is he has made us look at prayer as just something that we have to do, um, just to look at it as something that we have to do that is so boring. We don't see, we are so focused on the earth realm that we don't even see the power of prayer prayer. And most of the time, even in the churches, we don't really um, emphasize about the power of prayer and once it's and why it's important. And so the enemy has been able to take, um, has been able to devalue, to cause the saints to devalue the power of prayer. And so we will have we will have different programs. We will spend so much time doing different programs in the church, but we will not spend that much time in prayer. We also find even just when it comes even to 
just ministers even um they had done a survey and they found that a lot of like i think almost 70 percent of the pastors don't even spend time praying they spend like 15 time 15 minutes of prayer a day because for some reason we have so many things we feel we have to do and accomplish and we when we and we look at prayer as something that is just taking away time from the busy things that we are that we are trying to accomplish for God and and when you sit and just look you see that that truly is a trick of the enemy the enemy does not want you to have power he doesn't mind seeing you walking walking in your gifting walking in your talents he doesn't mind seeing you pursuing your ambition and pursuing whatever it is that you're pursuing and a lot of times that for the saints we are pursuing these things in the name of god we are pursuing these things but in the name of wanting to um to fulfill god's word but we are not taking time to just ask god for direction we are not taking time to invite god into the things that we are trying to pursue and when that happens we end up doing a lot of things using our own strength instead of using the strength that god that god has given us god has said that goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and he says that we need to spend time with the holy spirit so that because the holy spirit knows the heart of the father the only way we can be able to truly walk in the purposes of god the only way we can be able to 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 target what and the exact thing that god wants us to do and walk in the right direction it's by taking time with the holy spirit because he is the only one who knows the agenda of god concerning your life you can spend time reading books you can spend time talking to people who you feel are influential in your life you can take time to spend it with however you choose but at the end of the day if you're not praying you're going to be weak if you're not praying the enemy is going to you are not a threat to the enemy's kingdom because he knows that you don't you don't have what it takes and so he will place things in your lives and he and you know what when it comes to um the saints the enemy is not going to tempt you with the the obvious sins what he will do is he will make you so busy with doing the good stuff the so-called good stuff that you will not have time to to spend with the one who gave you the assignment so we find we have a lot of people who are doing the work of the Lord, but they don't spend time with the Lord. And, and I find it very interesting that the Bible says that in that the, a time will come when we go to heaven and God will tell you that depart from me, I never knew you. And you can and you will say, Didn't I heal the people in your name? Didn't I do this in your name? Didn't I do this in your name? And that scripture really puzzled me because I was like how can how like why would someone be able to do all those things and then god says depart from me i never knew you and i found that prayer is the only way we can have is the only method in which we can build a relationship with god we cannot build a relationship with god by just by reading books or by going to do good deeds we can only build a relationship with god by first taking time to pray taking time to just seek him, taking time to seek for his wisdom and his guidance. And when we do that, then we become, we become, we are able to walk as friends. We are able to walk and get guidance from him. And then we'll be able to pursue the things he's called us to do and will not be, will not burn out. A lot of people are burned out. We see a lot of pastors and a lot of ministers um, committing suicide or going through depression and different things like that and that is not god's will god does not want us to go through all those different things god does not want our lives to be cut short but we are the, the we are setting our lives like the world the world says the more you the more hours you spend working the more hours or the harder you work then the more chances of you becoming successful or the more chances of you be, being able to fulfill your ambition. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't take time to sit and to work on your dreams and your vision and your goals. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is prioritize. Prioritize prayer into your life. Let that be 
number one in your life. And then after you finish with prayer, then you can be able to do other things because if you can start to pursue the other things, because if prayer is put in the back burner, you are going to burn out eventually. If prayer is put in the back burner, you're going to make decisions that do not line up with the purpose that God has for you. If prayer is put in the back burner, you're not going to see the power that Jesus said we are supposed to have. He said we are supposed to be able to do greater and mighty things that than what he is he did here on earth. And when we look at the things that Jesus did, Jesus was always communing with the Father. He said he never did anything on his own. He only did what his father instructed. The only way we can know what the father is instructing us to do is by spending time in prayer. And during prayer, we read the word of God so we can be able to speak God's word concerning our lives, concerning his instructions, so he can be able to guide us on what it is he wants us to accomplish. So my prayer for you today is that you will begin to have a prayer life. And that you will have a life, you will have a strong prayer life, and you will rely on the Holy Spirit. You will not rely on your own strength, but you will rely on the Holy Spirit to guide you. Because it's only by prayer, it's only by prayer that we'll be able to communicate with God. Prayer will allow you to function in this realm and go to the next realm, the spirit realm, and make and make a demand and make changes and make decrees because you are walking because because that's the power of prayer and that's what god created prayer to um to do so i'll go ahead and just say a quick prayer for you and if you have any questions you can visit my website www.joycemarendez.com and then again um you can also um subscribe on my youtube channel just click the subscribe button at the bottom and you'll be able to receive any new messages any new videos that i post um so father i thank you for this day thank you father for blessing us thank you father for for your love thank you for your guidance thank you father even for revealing to us that it is your will that we should be able to pray you told us to pray without ceasing oh father father this day i pray oh lord that our eyes will be open our ears oh father will be open oh father so we can be able to see and we can be able to hear from you lord jesus father i thank you because no weapon formed against us shall prosper every tongue that raises against us is condemned in jesus name Father, even as we seek you, even on this day, I pray that you give us the desire to be able to even pray more. Give us the desire to be able to put to to put prayer, oh Father, first, oh Father, before our agenda, before our before our ambition, before the things that we are struggling to to, to pursue. Father, let us be able to put prayer first, oh Father. I thank you in advance for what you're going to do. I thank you for your faithfulness and I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will you will guide us. Father, I pray that you will cover us with the blood of Jesus where the enemy cannot touch us, where the enemy cannot cause any harm to us, any harm to our family members, any harm to our household. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.